Recording started, guys. This is map one of Misfits vs. Fnatic from DreamHack Winter Finals, which was today, earlier. Um, map one is Temple of Anubis. I'm on Twitch because there's no YouTube pods. So don't get mad at me. Pods very loud. Oh shit, I forgot my... What's it called? Got my marker. It's all about the marker. Tournament right after, like you just come in with like a different fire. Like you want to prove that like the decision you made. Oh God, that's Morty's hair. Why is it still there? Team coming into this event. Well, misfits as well. Yeah. Crew prior to this event, so both teams really do have a lot to show. I mean, it should be enough of an indicator that both of these have made it to the grand final in itself. But there is one more step. I love Mitch's voice, man. Mitch could like talk to me all day, and I'd just be like, all right, talking, buddy. All right, we'll comp it up right here. Defense, pretty normal stuff, I guess. I mean, cool man on the Winston is kind of weird. Um, but I guess they knew that Misfits was running so much dive comp. But even if they're running dive comp, I feel like 76 is still good. Or maybe they're worried about the Widowmaker. I mean, I didn't watch the match before this. So as far as the Winston pick goes, it's really the only outlier, but... I think maybe they saw Misfits play this map earlier throughout the day and they were running maybe the Widow or the Genji. I mean, Winston's not a bad pick against these heroes. There's no tank busters on the side of Misfits. So it's probably fine. It's just um, unorthodox as far as full sky or Anubis holds go. Offense, they're going full dive comp without a Zarya, which is kind of strange. Um, I like the fact that they're running Tracer with, like they're not running Reinhardt. So they are running Zenyatta. A lot of teams I feel like made the mistake of trying to keep Anna with Winston and Tracer and stuff, like it's arguably much, much worse. Misfits roster though is probably one of the scariest ones in the scene right now though, just because of the fact that like Nebix and Soon can play literally anything. There's not many teams that have the ability for like one of their DPS players to play Genji while the other one's playing Tracer. Like usually there's overlap, but not this much overlap. Um, I think C9 is probably like the only team right now that can do this or confidently. So this is a big, big deal when it comes to like execution of dive comps because if you like you say by yourself like okay Genji can't kill any of these heroes and Tracer can't really kill any of these heroes and Winston probably can't kill any of these heroes by himself but like you put all three of them together and they can kill arguably anything. But point being that you're not going to see this much or this comp much because there's not many teams that can get away with it and like do it well. And then the fact you have Zebo now playing Widowmaker is like kind of crazy because I mean Zebo's got good aim. Everyone knows Zebo has good aim. But um, having a Widowmaker player and a Genji player and a Tracer player at the same time is something that not many teams can say that they have. So this fits definitely showing off here. I mean, making use of their ability, I guess. Did he miss that? That was awkward. I guess they're waiting to break the shield. I don't know what their timing is here. Like the way, I don't know if I agree with how Fnatic's playing this. They're kind of like backing up and giving them a point. It's like, uh, it's just really awkward, right? Because you're running a dive comp into this and they know that the dive comp is here. So they're like trying to just bait them in and try to take the fight here. But if the Reinhardt shield goes down, which is like, I mean, it'll eventually go down, right? No matter what. They're playing like a really dangerous game, just giving up this much ground. And I think that this is a misplay, honestly, from Stoop, because what is he doing? You know, like what what value does Stoop have right now? Like if you look at the comp actually again from Fnatic or from Misfits rather, they don't have any shield break like at all. They have like literally, I haven't watched this yet, so no. I mean, I'm down with spoilers, but my point being that like, the shield is actually just not blocking anything. It's just like televising where the team is. And he's just tanking damage that he doesn't need to tank because there's actually no way for them to break the shields on the side of Misfits other than like Tracer and the Widow. So like him just letting the Widow pump shots is kind of awkward to me. Really 
Look at how much rune rune misfits has here. Like they just literally walk in and now the tracer's just tap capping and they're just tap capping and they're like so afraid of the widowmaker instead of just running their diva in to go kill him. Diva kills the Zen. It's a pretty big pick actually. But nobody's dealing with this widowmaker. Okay, and the diva's going off. Like, it's kind of awkward. That it's just weird that Zebo's given this much room. Like, they know he's there, and they have a D.Va. And they're not really doing... They're playing super safe, like, super, super safe on Fnatic. I question why you would do this, like why you would choose to play it this way. Like eventually you're going to have to go to the point, right? No matter what. Like I don't know if giving up the high ground was the play. I don't, I'm sure that they had a reason for it. I'm curious. I'll like ask them if I ever talk to them, but I don't know why you would do that. Like Fnatic just gave them the entire point and then pretty much like expected them to fight inside that room. But if anyone came to the point, they had to deal with all this stuff. And they don't swap any of their heroes Fnatic. And Misfits still has... Zenyatta? So if they push him with like trans, it's pretty good. See, look at how like easy that is. Or just how, I mean, it's not easy, but look at how like collected that was. It was just like, okay, we're just gonna jump the Tracer and the Winston at the same time. And then I guess the Genji dives in too. But that shouldn't just a free kill immediately on the... What's it called? On the Anna. A little bit of a late sound barrier, I guess. Or he never got the sound barrier anyway. Trans probably should have saved him. Soon's just playing Tracer, man. Look at how scary this is, the Winston Tracer combo. Gets killed. I feel like they could have trans earlier. As soon as the Anna died, I think if they trans everyone in, they probably would have won. But I don't know if the positioning was there or not. They switched to Z they switched to Zarya, but this is like a late Zarya. I mean, it's not actually late because they still have five minutes. But now both teams are running Zarya. Cool Matt switch off the Winston. I like that switch off. But now Nevix has Dragon Blade, and they don't have any combos. So like, the Zenyatta has to like do a lot of damage against these tanks. I mean, I guess that's why they're running the Zen. But it's also just um, it's like a good. Whoa, that was weird. They get bopped. I feel like this was a really forced fight from them for no reason. The ledge dash got patched out, so I don't know why he would go for the ledge dash. I think he got bopped or something. I don't think he was going for the ledge dash. I don't think he forced anything out with that Dragon Blade, though. Like, the ults are coming up so slow for both teams, it's kind of interesting how, like, little spam they're doing. They're just kind of... Regrouping and going in, which I guess is smart from the side of Misfits. Nevix switches to Mei. I like the Mei switch actually. It's not the worst. I think the trade. I think the Genji was obvious, like always gonna fail. Like I think it's way easier to hit run Genji when you have like Nano Boost, but if you don't have Nano Boost, it's a lot worse. You gonna kill Cool Matt? No, they sound barrier. Both teams sound barrier. Surprised he's not freezing this hog. I don't know why he's going for little right clicks there, Nevix. He could have easily frozen that hog. What are you doing? That's awkward. I don't know. I don't know what that was. I feel like that wasn't the play. You can't ledge dash anymore. Oh, it is not live. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. I don't know what that right click was. I don't know why he didn't just freeze the hog. He could have easily just frozen the hog and canceled the whole hog. But I guess he didn't. It didn't matter at the end of the day. So now Kusta switches off Anna. Goes to Zen with no ult. I don't know when did he just switch randomly? What just happened? Why did he switch? 1021. Okay, so he's Anna with 20% ult. Oh, this is earlier. This is way earlier. This VOD's like three hours long or something. He went back too far. Okay, this is the, I want to watch the May fight again because I want to know what happens to Kusta here. That he decides he's gonna switch to Zen. I think it's too late. The freezing doesn't show on spectator. Maybe you're right. It looks like he wasn't shooting at all. Yeah, you're right. Look, he's like 
doing no damage. Like right here, he could easily just walk up to this hog and like freeze him. This looks so weird. Don't ever spec May if it's broken. It looks so silly. Bakusa has like 12% ult or something here. I mean, it's not a lot, but it's enough. And then they switch off the Ana, but why would you switch off Ana against May? Like, May is so bad against Ana, arguably. Like, I feel like this is just better for Misfits now that they just don't have the Ana. I think May is just too value now, because May just never has to worry about it. He didn't die, he just went back to spawn. I just don't know why you would get off Anna. Eden's going off, but uh, this is a, it's a weird fight from uh, Fnatic because they opened up with a fight. I think the Zenyatta was honestly the difference maker, but I, I still think you'd rather have the Anna against the Zen, and I think you'd rather have the Anna against the Mei. I think Kusa's swap was awkward, like not ideal. Both teams going for the health pack. Soon going off. So difficult to deal with. I feel like all the time you never see him get below like 100 HP. There's nobody really able to focus him down. And he is so. That's a good push from them. I mean, that Blizzard was really, really good. I don't think Nevix died. I think maybe they were calling it. So May tried to build ult rather than freeze. I don't know what happened. It was awkward. It was just weird. I mean, I, yeah. I mean, Comfort Zen is pretty good, but the Ana is definitely better against the Zen and against the Mei. So, like, running Zen against the Zen is, like, probably not the play. Especially when you already have some ult. Like, switching on defense is pretty rough. He might have been able to get... He might have been able to save his teammates um, against the Tracer. I mean, I don't know. It's just I don't agree with it, but I'm sure he probably thought that there was a good reason. I just think that Anna's arguably way better against Zenyatta and against May. So if you're gonna get pushed against that, you should just do it. I mean, I think Anna's better against Blizzard. Like, I don't, I don't know. Whatever, man. Live your life, Kusta. Don't need me to tell you otherwise. Fnatic running the same offense. Defensive Junkrat. It's a pub. I like this pub comp, but this is a good pub comp. Defensive Tracer is really, really strong, actually. And offensive 76, I think, sucks on this map. I think it's way too hard to get in. I think he could play Zarya or something here. It'd be better, but it doesn't matter. What about Poppy? Raid? Um, comp wise though, Misfits running, I mean, I could talk about Misfits comp, but it's pretty straightforward. It's just you spam one area with the Junkrat, the Tracer cleans up the kills from the Junkrat pipes, and then Zebo just keeps everyone alive. Both teams running Zen though, I feel like you're playing into Misfits hand at this point. I mean, I don't know if Misfits ran this the whole time, but a Junkrat trap hit the, what? God, poor Nevix, man. The Junkrat like hit the trap too on the D.Va and the D.Va just wind up losing suit. Nevix dies. Zebo's cleaning up really well though. Good hook. I like this play though from Misfits. They're just getting all up in their faces. Like this is going to be a pretty fast Graviton for sure from Zebo. He's already at 50%. Cool Matt kills Skipjack. Cool Matt kills Hidan. The good news, I mean, they're going to get rolled here, right? Because of the pin at the beginning. I think if the Junkrat doesn't get pinned, this game is completely different. But, um... Soon's Tracer is really good. I mean, they all die, but... Double got ult, so... It's a decent push. I mean, the worst case scenario, they have Graviton, right? That's not the worst thing, but they have Transcendence on the side of... Fnatic, so... They could trade them. I mean, it's not the worst thing in the world for defense to trade the trans for the Graviton. I think you don't want to, but 
they can somehow force out Kusta to pop a bad ult, then the game is a lot different. I like to switch to Mei too, off the Junkrat, but I think he should have just been on Mei the whole time, arguably. Because Junkrat was never going to be good on this map anyway. It's a good wall because it stops the Transcendence. Charge is a little ambitious though. Good trans from Hidan. They saved Skipjack's life there. It was like off screen, but a big deal. I mean, this cool man needs to die here. There's no way they win this fight. Like 3v3 and the spawns are coming in. Now they're just like delaying. I mean, cool man gets out, gets his ult a little bit more, but Nevik's pretty close to Blizzard. Sound barrier is still up. Earth shatter is still up. Stoop is not close at all. I guess he used it last fight, and Skipjack just has it. So I mean, this should be an easy defense for Misfits, unless I mean that's it. Unless Heavy Cool hits like a three-man ult or something. Misfits has pulse combo. That's true. I mean, they didn't have pulse bomb combo last fight, did they? You just got that beard, man. How long does this go? How does my ult charge feel to you? I don't think it's that much worse. I missed the fight, I think. Definitely missed the fight. What time are we at? 10.34? Go back a minute. Where was the pause? This was the pause. I think I missed too much. Just pull some kill through a trans. It depends on how much health the hero has. It doesn't kill tanks through trans, but it kills like 76. I mean, that's really the only person they're gonna kill with the pulse bomb, anyways. The 76. Everyone else will live. Lucio will die, but um, that's it. What is wrong with this cameraman? That's memers, dudes. Cameraman probably thought it was hilarious too. Alright, this fight should just be easy hold though for for Fnatic, or for Misfits rather, unless Fnatic hits like a crazy kill on Cooler. As long as Cooler gets ult off, they should be fine. Good charge combo, sound barrier comes out for both teams. Bonnethil dead, so this fight should probably just be over. I mean the Lucio dies and the Blizzard came out. Blizzard didn't hit that many people though, but um... Surprised that Haffy's not getting chased down right now, but Haffy's like the only one alive. It's like a 2v4, 2v5 or something. Why is he even trying to live here? What's his plan? He's just giving them more ult now. They're just leaving him alive too, like they didn't even want to kill him. This is what I mean, like him getting a health pack was kind of silly. He should have just ran. Because all he did there was like delay. I mean, that's really good. What's it called? Peace of mind or state of mind for misfits. Like, that just gave them an extra 10 seconds. Like, 10 seconds is a lot of time on these maps. So it's kind of hard. I mean, this next push is a misfits hold again, too. Happy just switched to May off the D.Va. He's like realizing the D.Va is not that good. But this is on Hog. I don't think. Has he been on Hog? I think he's been on Hog. But cool mats on Zarya now, like they don't have the best comps to finish the map. They just have to wait for like a good May Blizzard combo with the Graviton and then like win off that. It's a good Graviton though right there. But they didn't Pulse Bomb, I think the May wall blocked his entrance from soon. I don't know, Pulse Bomb didn't come out there, which is a little awkward. But they're still cleaning up. They had the ult advantage for like very big. And they forced out Hidan's, um... Transcendence, so it's probably fine. I mean, Misfits burned a lot of ults there. They burned Earthshatter, they burned Graviton, they burned Trans. Fnatic switches to Tracer now. Buds gets off the hog. 
I don't. All right. I mean, they want the pulse bomb combo now. I guess they have to wait for Cool Matt to get Graviton. I don't think they can actually win until he gets it. That was good, like five man Graviton. But yeah, I'm not sure how Fnatic wins this unless they like Cool Matt needs to get Grav. And like going Buds against or going Tracer against Soon is probably a mistake because like Buds is good, but he's not like Tracer's not that good. It's definitely not Soon level. I expect him to get bullied pretty hard. I like these pushes though from them. They just go in here because they know that the Tracer's dead, so it's 5v6 at best. And soon just uses Pulse Bomb to get like a pick on the Reinhardt. It's definitely worth it. Cool Matt's only at 76, he was at like 58 last fight, he's only at 70 now. Both teams are about to get Graviton. Blizzard's out on Nevix, he's probably just going to use it right here when they come through. Yep. Good bubbles from Cool Matt. I think he's going to die. I don't like his wall there, his wall there was a little weird. I think he saved the wall, but um, that's just a preference thing. I mean, he didn't want them backing out for sure, but it forced them all into that corner and made Cool Matt burn both of his bubbles, and then they just come in and clean up. It's a really good play. Misfits is playing really smart. I mean, like, they're not burning ults. Like, that was only one ult used. They only committed the Blizzard, and they got a team white. It's like 30 seconds for free. Buds goes... Sombra? I don't know what this is. Kisser's, like, so good against Sombra, too. So is Mei. All right, that's a big kill, actually. Soon gets a way too cocky, but he's going to spawn. I mean, they don't really need him to win this fight, arguably, but he has Pulse Bomb. A good hack. Are they going to win because of that hack? They might actually win because of the hack. That one hack just won them the fight, actually. Soon comes out on Tracer. Maze on the point. Reinhardt's on the point. Oh my god, that stall from the Diva was so clutch. Eden's coming up as Sombra. I mean, Buds is gonna have ult eventually, even if this stalls out for longer. Soon gets a kill on Kusa. That's a big kill. Every time you get a kill on defense, it's like pretty massive, actually. Some Overwatch right here, if I've ever seen it. <laughs> Sombra in the back. That one hack won in the fight. That was a good swap, I guess. I didn't expect it to work though. I mean, I feel like they should have known that he was coming around the back, or someone should have just been there, but. I think the second you're getting hacked, you just have to pop it because you can't afford to not pop trans there. The better Zen? I don't know, probably Heaton. I mean, Heaton's known for his Zen Yada. And I have to go with Heaton, right? Because he's a TF2 player. Like, that's kind of how I have to pick. <laughs> that's all that matters. They got it down. That was a lot of burnt time, actually, from Fnatic, like, or from Misfits. They're like, the one minute's not a lot of time. Fnatic has to push with the Widow. I don't know if the Widow's the pick here, but... I like how Misfits switched their comp, too. They're like, screw the Junkrat, they just go 76. I don't think the Junkrat was a problem, though. I mean, it was definitely awkward, but I don't know that that's why they lost. I think it's just because of the pin. They don't have any, um... Buds missed like two or three shots on the supports and gets mowed down by Heaton. Awkward play from Zebo actually. I feel like Zebo just like went deep, like too deep. His team wasn't there at all. What, GTR? You can't really miss those as Widow, I think. I mean, if you're going to run Widow, you need to hit those shots. 
Nevik switches again. Nevik should just play May on first point. I don't know why he didn't. I think if they had May there, it would have been a different fight because at least they could have tried to wall someone off. But the, he like played 76 and he played Junkrat, so I like question whether or not Nevik's picks were good on the first points. I mean, if you're going to swap anyway, like 76 isn't good on this point. Bud's in the back, using Rewind. Missing, missing, missing. That's a really clutch health pack. I have to get these kills too. Oh god, Nevix. They're gonna win this with one minute? Are they really? Alright, never mind. The hog's dead. Ooh, skipjack. Big plays. Mm, Budge just pulse bomb the bubble. Soon. They have Earth Shatter if they can get uh, Skipjack back to the point. Blizzard. Ooh, that's a big Blizzard Earth Shatter. Good defense, actually. Nevix May is really good. He should have just been on May the whole time, honestly. I think it would have been a way easier hold for them if they didn't have to rely on him coming in with, like, miracle plays. Take a breather. That was a big play though with the Earth Shatter Blizzard. Definitely, I mean, that was Nevix for sure. And yeah, Bud's choked a little bit. That's life. That May needed to die on the health pack. The game would have been probably over. But Nevix lived forever on that hold. I don't even think Nevix died. I mean, he died obviously at the end, but. Two and a half minutes. This is pretty textbook. I'm surprised they're not running. Oh, they are running Anna. I was about to say, I'm surprised they're not running Anna, but they are running Anna. I like the Anna pick here because you need Nevix to get a team wipe. I don't think Nevix gets a team wipe with Dragon Blade if he doesn't have an Anna. Is he going back to Zen? I still think Anna's better, but. Keep pausing. Look at these beards, dude. Skipjack. Skipjack's a big dude. I met him at uh, BlizzCon. Like a buff guy. Zebo's beard. Wow. Oh, what a funny meme. Nice meme, dude. Cool meme. I like that Pikachu right there that you can't see the face of. Haha, <laughs> you know it'd be funny guys if we made a sign that said dicks out for Harambe. Like, yeah, dude. dude look at this buff backstage admin, dude. It's like, I'm wearing a tank top, I don't care. A scary. They're gonna dive the shit out of this Anna. This Anna needs to die right now. Ooh, sleep dart, you dead. Surprised they didn't just commit on that. Why did he peek? Cool, Matt. What are you doing? All right, that's a throw. Now they can just wait. It's a big shot. Yeah, he's hitting his shots. I mean, that was right at 80%, so he's definitely been hitting bullets there. And now the Winston's dead, I mean, that's a big deal. You can just farm his ult off of this D.Va. Pulse bomb the D.Va suit, it's probably worth it. I mean, it's definitely worth it. I'm not sure where Zebo is right now. Surprised it. Soon's just doing work by himself though right now. Soon's still in. Still cool mat again. 
using his blinks really well. I mean, he just made them enough space. I think those two picks should be enough as long as they go now. But Zebo's staying on Widow, which is kind of awkward because I feel like he would be better suited on another hero. I like how he's just playing around with Stoop here, like forcing people back. Yeah, Soon's really good. Soon's making so much space right now. Soon put on his carry pants here. I did rewind. That was awkward. I guess he wanted to go for the pulse bomb, but he didn't need to rewind there. He needed to take like two more seconds to think. Or soon, dude. But I, it's because of this widow. Like, if they had a Zarya there, he would have gotten like a three k. He needed the Zarya there for sure. I feel like I don't know. I don't agree with this widow staying on widow, especially after soon goes for those crazy plays. I think they just needed like one more person on the point, and they would have been fine. Even like a Farah pick would have been good. Something that can get there fast and get kills. That's a big. He's hitting his shots, man. That is a big shot to hit. It's like a big medic pick. He'll stoop too. Soon just has to kill his diva. I mean, he's hitting his shots there, but like it took a while. Cool mat. I think it's the widow's fault if they lose this. Down barrier too. Debo comes back as Sombra. I don't hate that. A diva ults made so much space. I don't know. That widow pick I think was awful. I think the widow pick really screwed them. I don't know. I think that they would have won on it, or they would have at least gotten the first point, I think, if Zebo didn't stay on Widowmaker for literally the entire duration of the point. Like, he hit some good shots, but they just needed one more person to help soon out. And, like, they would have gotten a Graviton for sure if he was on uh, Zarya. Like, the only thing that wasn't dying was the D.Va. Like, they obviously needed a hero to kill D.Va. So, questionable pick, I guess, in my opinion, but... That's all we got. I mean, all that we watched there was literally just them running at each other, but they could never finish the point. Like, there was like the soon show for a long ass time, but I don't know. I feel bad because I feel like Misfits could have easily had that if Zebo had literally just gotten off Widowmaker.